Fortify your character with each passing day. Everything can be stripped away from you. The question is, what would be left if it were? When we seize control of our inner world, external forces hold little power to harm us. Remain at the center of the tempest, though all about you may be in chaos. Let your mind be a fortress of reason. What harm can come to the one who isn't afraid of plain living? Who accepts every trial as part of the natural order and lets go of what he cannot control? If they cannot disturb your mind, what is there left to disturb? Life will break us all. The mark of an indomitable spirit is shown by the one who can keep struggling forward. When we release our cravings for power, we attain boundless strength. When we free ourselves from the need for approval, we reclaim our authenticity. When we stop yearning for riches, we acquire true wealth. Hold on to your purpose. Do not let your suffering be in vain. Your perception of difficulties will determine your state of mind. Will you see them as opportunities to grow stronger or as injustices sent to undermine you? The power to choose lies within you. Time is fleeting. Postpone nothing. Stay present. Bring forth your best. Focus on what you can control. Let go of what you cannot. Change. A force that will vanquish all those foolish enough to oppose its course. Yet, when we choose to embrace it, we unlock the boundless power it holds, harnessing its potent energy for our own transformation. No summit is unconquerable. For with the union of reason and courage, every challenge can be humbled before us. Heroes wear a smile, carrying burdens they never asked for. As the fierce wind howls and the looming waves threaten to capsize you, waste no time cursing the storm. Rather, adjust the sails, command the helm and navigate your way to safety. Arrogance will only result in a greater fall when misfortune strikes. The humble will remain on an even keel, feet firmly on the ground. Like Hercules who embraced his twelve labors, and Perseus who embarked on his quest to slay the Gorgon Medusa, we too must confront the trials that have been bestowed upon us. For it is during these adventures that our true strength and character are revealed. This world will test you to your very core. It'll knock you down and kick dirt in your face. And in these moments, the universe will be asking you one simple question. How bad do you really want it? How bad? You're gonna lose all your money, all your friends, all the people you care about. And when that happens, do you still want it bad enough to keep getting back up and keep moving forward? If you can find your why for doing this and for sticking it out, in spite of all the pain, you can find a way to win. You've got to keep that belief alive. Your belief in why you're doing this. What is it that makes it worth it to you? To keep standing up in the face of all these setbacks. If you can keep your belief alive, you can make it. That belief is what will keep you pushing forward. When you believe that there is a way, you will find a way. And if you can't find one, you will make one. Because a person who has a belief in themselves and what they're doing and knows without a shadow of doubt that they deserve what they're fighting for, they won't ever back down. No matter how rough it gets, no matter how many rejections they gotta go through, no matter how many people come up against them, they will keep standing and keep showing up to the battle. You're going to have so many moments where you doubt yourself, where you think you can't go on. But I want you to remember, these rough times haven't come to stay. They've come to pass. Not getting what you want can be the most valuable experience of your life. You got to think of each problem as a gift, an opportunity for growth and learning. When you operate in chaos, when everything turns upside down for you, that's where true greatness is forged. These are the moments that define champions. 
These are the crucibles where the strongest versions of ourselves are shaped. I need you to have the courage to act outwardly on those visions you see inwardly. That dream that you have. That life you want to live. You got to hold on to that idea so tightly that no matter how dark things get around you, you never let it go. You keep it clear and in sight and in focus inside your mind. The path to success isn't easy. It's going to break you down to your absolute lowest. But the difficulty itself is what prepares you and propels you to higher levels of achievement. So when all hope seems lost, when the pain won't stop, when things you never thought would happen do happen. You find a reason to keep going. Because you're a warrior. You don't run from pain. You embrace it. Pain is a part of life, but suffering is a choice. And you choose to push through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you have to decide that you're gonna be tough. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your vision, your dreams, your ideas unquestionably. When you have faith, that faith gives you patience. Patience that things will get better as you move forward over time. But you have to keep moving and keep plugging away. These lessons are the building blocks of your success. Each failure, each rejection is a step closer to your goal. They're not just stumbling blocks, they're stepping stones. They're a step in the staircase in order to go higher. When those terrible things happen to you, you're going to have that negative voice, that internal dialogue telling you you're not good enough. Don't allow that voice to take over you. Engage in a battle with that negative part of yourself. Shut it down and block it out and block out any other voice that tells you you can't make it. Listen to that voice inside you that says it's possible. It's possible. I can do this. I know I have what it takes. I know that where I am right now is not where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. I have so much more to give. I have the power to change everything for me and I'm not going to stop until I get what I want because I deserve it. I deserve a better life and you can't kinda want that thing. You gotta want it with every bit of your heart, every bit of your being. You gotta be willing to pour every bit of your energy, effort, and focus into it in order to make it happen. It's gonna push you harder than anything else ever has. Make a personal declaration to wage war against being average. You have full control over your mind and therefore, you're alive. It's about taking conscious, determined efforts to reinvent your life and committing wholeheartedly to your goal. When you're committed, you don't care about the odds. You don't care about the facts. You care only about the possibilities for you and your dream. And you gotta go into this knowing that it's not gonna be a smooth journey. There's gonna be sharp ridges you gotta climb over. There's gonna be betrayals and devastation constantly on the way. But if you really want it like you say you do, you'll do whatever the hell it takes to get through it. And if you do get through all the pain, all the trials, all the tears, all the long nights of worry, it will be so worth it. No matter what happens to you in life, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. What do you do? When you have been telling yourself you can reach your goal and you lose it every day what do you do when you when you've lost your spirit? You've lost your job. You lost everything life been devastated once you are defeated in your mind ladies and gentlemen. It's all over your problem as your pain has identified you your pain. I speaking you you have a choice how you respond to your pain. And some of you in this room, for real, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're getting wimpy on me. You're getting soft on me. You are not the only person that's been through a divorce, boo. Get over it. You're not the first one. You won't be the last one. 
You can turn that divorce into something. You're not the first one to lose your promotion and get fired. You're not the first one. You're not the first one they let go of. You won't be the last one. The question is what you're going to do about it. I know what it is to walk the floor and you don't know how you're going to make it. When people no longer believe in you, and you are all you got and you got to say to yourself, when you fail again and again, they tell you no, sometimes with tears in your eyes, it's possible. When life staggers you, the thing that'll get you up on your knees and get you standing in the center of the ring and find something from somewhere deep down in to keep on slugging and keep on fighting is, it's possible. It's possible. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. When you're facing defeat, disappointment, seem like life has ripped you off and everybody's saying you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. All you need to affirm that in spite of this, it's possible that I can do it. So what makes me different than everybody else? Every year I just kept going and I kept going and I kept going and I kept saying one day it's going to be my day. You know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to quit in the process. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to be here. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen. That you don't give up. That you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally. That you keep on keeping on. That you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. That you realize that's a part of the program. The difference is not the genetic code, the potential. It's the guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tested on a fortune, stand back up. The perseverance to see it through. The never say die attitude. And I go in there, man, and if I don't win, I showed up. I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow, I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. Every day, I'll throw more up there and try it again and try it again. And I'll never get comfortable. I don't feel rejected. I tried. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. The person that didn't try should feel some type of way. I tried. I don't feel rejected. I feel good about myself. I tried. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack. I'm a warrior. I'm not whack. You know how much I've went through to make that thing happen and I will not stop in the middle of a process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit and I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. You can't defeat me.